no introduction, just magic gameplay. Let's grind up our requisite daily wins. Going for three. How quickly can we get it? Probably pretty quickly because we're playing Boros Convoke. We're playing Boros Convoke, which is the bustedest format this time. Uh, I think I keep foolishly. Yeah, he's gonna beat me. Unless this guy's playing mono red. He's gonna outscale me really quickly. Really, really, really quickly. I've got the Imidane's Recruiter and I've got the Cavern of Souls, so realistically, okay. So I actually probably might be able to beat this guy out. I don't have any setup. I think he's running mono red. Or it's possible he just doesn't have the, oh my god. It is possible he does not have. It is possible he just doesn't have the white mana. My guess is he's running. You know what? I feel like he doesn't have the, the white mana. That's my guess here. I take it. I take the damage. He doesn't have it. Okay. He's got the gleeful demolition. Good. Uh, how do I do this? I think this is what I have to do. Yup. Gotta do it. Let's go ahead and do that. He can block everybody, but I'm okay with that. I'm actually fine with that. I don't have a problem with that. Yup. We are racing. I don't really have... Okay. How do we do this? Do we do... I think I... Yeah. I pop you out. I human you. Do I double? I think that is what I do. Yes, I channel. I channel, and then I imidane. No. I think... Yeah, excellent. Okay. He just didn't have it. He didn't have the mana. That was luck on our part. Otherwise, he had the go first, which is the win condition for Boros. That is pretty much the absolute win condition for Boros. That's one. That's one for three. One for one for today's victories. That's pretty good. Uh, if I wanted to farm my daily mission, I could have blocked more. But to be honest, I don't even really want to look at it. I don't particularly care. That's good. Okay. We've got the Cavern of Souls. We put that down. Turn two. And we've got Warden. We can scry, we can put you out. This is this is looking like a turn three victory. Or at least pretty close to it. It depends on what this person's running. We can at the very least get out. Gleeful demolition. Therefore we've got four creatures on the board. Even if they're running blue. There's no one cost counter spells. So I think we're actually going to be doing pretty well here. Yeah. This is pretty good. This is this is basically the just about ideal setup for your Boros builds. Pretty much. 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 Pretty much perfect. If this is a mirror match, it is not. Do you attack? Yeah, you do. That's fine. I could, I should have blocked on that. There was no reason not to block on that. Now, do I put down this mountain or do I go Thran? I put you down. Yes, I do. I put you down. I could have blocked. I should have. There was no reason not to. But to be honest, no point for that. Yeah. No point to leave it open. Yeah, it wouldn't have done anything. He was just happy to 
get in the one extra damage, and I was happy to give it to him. I was happy to give it to him. It's no problem. Now, I think I have to put the Thran portal down, unfortunately. I would rather not. I would rather not put the Thran portal down. But I think I have to, just in case I miss a mana somewhere. It's unlikely it's going to make a difference. It's very unlikely it makes a difference. And the festivities, good move. Oh, interesting. Okay. Now, what do we do? I think... Yeah, I think we put you down. I think we put you down. I think we put you down. We just go for the race. We don't quite have it. But we can more or less try. Unfortunately, the end of the festivities is pretty much the necessary way to go here. Oh, he's got the mechanized warfare now. I was going to say, I think that sews it up for us. Not quite. Not quite pretty close. Next. I definitely attack, for sure. I think we might, it depends on what we get next turn. He's got the card advantage. It depends on how we top deck. I pretty much definitely block. Yeah, pretty much definitely block on this. I don't think he has a trample card. Obviously I have to. Interesting. Block you for sure. Yup. Uh, War Leader's Call again. Interesting. That's seven. Um. I think we just do for you. Yeah, we have to. We're gonna have to block like that. We're gonna have to figure it out. He's got three cards. He could easily burn me down. He's got the mechanized warfare. He's realistically very well positioned to actually take me out this turn. He has to take me out this turn. Or else just about anything that I get is going to take him out. He's basically got to attack. He's playing mono red. He has to be aggressive. Yup. Oh, nice. That was pretty good. That was super lucky. I'm pretty sure he top decked that. He did. He had to have top decked that. So that was super lucky. But, you know, that was that was a decent way of going. I'll be honest. I don't mind losing to that. Yeah. I mean that was that was correct. Mono red play, to be honest. That was actually quite conservative. As opposed to being a Overly aggro. Overly aggro. Now, how do we do this? I think we keep. I think we have to keep. We should have mulligan, perhaps, because we're not on. Yeah. We're not on the play. We resolute. And... We can't quite... Oh, no. This is not ideal. Not ideal here. Uh, Giada, Angels, Boros, Angels. I actually don't think I've ever seen this played before. My guess is we're screwed. My guess is we're toast on this. Boros, Angels is going to have some life gain, probably. I would imagine he's got to be running Lightning Helix. It's too good of a card not to be running that with angels in there. Yeah, we've got ramp. We've got, it's, there's a lot of options here. Now the question is, okay, so you go. Interesting, do you have a wrath? You don't have a wrath. Yeah, we're pretty much toast. We did essentially figure that out. Um, what do I want? We're going to go white. We're gonna go you. Yup. Then we're gonna go you. Then we're gonna go Boros. Yup. We're pretty much toast. Ah, we're
we're screwed. Do I scry? I scry. I can't block anything, so we definitely scry. Novice Inspector. That doesn't really help us. Novice Inspector does not really help us. I think our only shot here is to hopefully take them out next turn. I don't think that's going to happen, though. If we can pop, if we get one more mana, we can loot arc into Imidane. Yeah. We're toast. We're done. Okay. It's not bad, but it's not good. We're pretty much toast here. Yeah, we are. We're done. Okay. We're done. We're dead anyway. They've got flying. We're, we're, we're toast anyway. It doesn't really matter. Yeah. Now we get to take out some of our competition, which is good, but realistically we're, we're, we're screwed. It doesn't really matter. Do you take out Giada? I don't think you do. Yeah. That's pretty good, but we're done. We're good gamed. We're out. I don't mind. It's not too bad, but you know, I'm not happy about it. Angels is getting a little bit overpowered. I didn't see any red. I saw zero red. Is the red just a red herring? Is that just to make you think they're playing Boros Convoke? And to get you to make a mistake? That is a possibility. I'll be honest, that does seem to be what it was. That's my guess. My guess is that was a red herring. And they're just playing straight angels. Not ideal, to be honest. But they can play the pain lands. Which basically means that their ramp is exactly the same. They don't really have any turn ones. I think I keep... I keep... I loot arc. How do we do this? Cavern. Yeah, let's get Cavern out. Let's get you out. Let's hope for another one cost. I mean, to be honest... I was gonna say, let's hope for a Gleeful Demolition. Gleeful Demolition doesn't really help me out here. I think we have to go for you, Red. We gotta go for you. Unfortunately. Now, the question here is, do I... I think I do. I ditch the Thran. Okay, now do I take you out? I do. I don't think you block. You might block, but I don't think you block. I didn't think you blocked on that. Okay, we battlefield Forge. I'm happy with Forge. Yeah, we're pretty well screwed here. The green matchups are not good for us. We gotta go Sanguine. Definitely, we gotta go Sanguine on that. Just for the life gain. We need it. I like having the bat. The bat is good. The bat helps us out. I think we Sanguine again. For the life gain. He's got good ramp. He's got bigger creatures than us. I'm, I'm kind of, I'm not helpful. I'm not hopeful here. I think we're pretty much toast. I don't know if I've actually won a mono green with this deck. Mono green is quite good this, this season. Now, what do we do here? Do I just block with everything? No, I can't really do that. We just have to take it, unfortunately. Uh, so now we got the Gleeful Demolition. What do I put down here? I think I have to put you down. And then we put you down. Yup. We're going for the extra life gain. Artifact. 
relax. We're just gonna take it. We're just taking it, unfortunately. We're just gonna hope he makes a mistake here. Which I don't think he does. My guess is he's not going to make a mistake. He's not going to overextend. My guess is he's going to play defensively. And we're going to be done. That's my guess. That is my guess. He's got enough. I mean, we've got a bit of a card advantage here, which is good. If we get a Novice Inspector or a Void Cairn, uh, we can get some extra life gain and we can make up for that. But I'm not, I'm not hopeful here. I think that's what he's got to do. Yeah. I don't block, I just take it. Not ideal, because it makes everything bigger. Oh, snap, I didn't know if that was... Okay, I didn't read that, I'll be honest. I didn't know that was an ability. Oh, well. To be honest, we need to win next turn anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, let's see what we get. Let's see what we draw. <laughs> Not what we needed. Not what we needed. We pretty much gotta win next turn anyway. Alright, next. Yeah, we just gotta go double on that. We're pretty much toast. Yup. What you gonna do? To be honest, I think... <sighs> How much damage we have? We have 6, 12... 18. So we've got 18 damage. He's gotta block somebody. He's gotta block some people. He must think that I've got, like, a burn spell. And that's why he's being more... Aggressive. Interesting. He's gotta think that's the case. I don't. I don't have it. To be honest, you pretty much have me toasted out here. I was hoping he would take my loot arc. I was hoping he would get my loot arc. I think I might possibly be able to make it to next turn, actually, with this. It's possible. Might be able to get to the next turn with this. No, maybe not. Probably not. Doesn't seem like it. Let's see, that's eight. I think I think we're done. Okay. Let's think. So who are the biggest boys we can block? We can block you. We can block. Who else can we block? We can block you, and we can block you. I think we're done. Yeah. Unfortunately. Yeah, he just had the ramp, and we just got a terrible card draw. We just got nothing but land when we didn't need it. That is unfortunate. 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 That's okay, though. We're just in this for the grind. I've already reached max level. I'm not really worried about anything else. Do we go first with this? No. We don't have any of the synergy we need. Okay, I think here we're gonna ditch Knight. I think we have to ditch Knight. We're on the red. We've gotta hope. We have got to hope this is a slower moving deck. It's blue-white, so it probably is more of a control deck. In all 
honesty though, we're probably gonna get countered eventually. We don't have any significant... Yeah, we really don't have anything significant here. Okay, we do have the Gleeful Demolition. Let's think. Do we play the Sanguine? I think we play the Sanguine. Heat counters, for sure. That's foolish. It, it comes out tapped, right? Oh my god, it doesn't. Holy crap, you idiot. Wow. You really helped me out there. That was hilarious. Assuming he uses up all of his mana, we got this tied up. We've got this tied up. Oh, we've got this 100% tied up. Oh my god, we have this tied up. We've got it. He can't counter. He can't counter spell. We've got it. He's gonna scoop. He's done. He's gonna... He's out. That's it. We got it. There's no way he can... That's it. He's done. He's done. Nah, it doesn't matter, dude. You're done. Doesn't matter. Way too much damage. Yep. I bet he's kicking himself for doing that field of ruin. I thought so too. I was like, oh my god, he's gonna... I'm pretty sure I get a untapped land out of that. Yeah. That was a huge mistake on his part. See, I'm maxed leveled. So I don't actually need to do these three victories. But it gets me the gold, so I'm pretty happy with it. Not to mention, I really like playing this deck. I really like playing this deck. I really like it because it does give me... It does give me some significant... I keep on this. I do keep. I ditch the inspector. Yeah. It gives me a really fast turnaround. Which I'm a fan of. I'm a fan of it. Now, the question is here. Is he going to use up all of his mana? Or is he going to keep everything up? He is. Oh, that was a mistake, buddy. We pretty much got this sewed up then. Yup. Because we're going to inspect her. Into demolition. That gives us the life. That gives us the life. That gives us the life that we need. We can sanguine if we want. He doesn't have the mana here. He does not have the mana. Okay, we sundown. Then we sanguine. Yup. Okay, then we arrow. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Convoke. Yes, we get the Imidane. And. Why not? We'll go Warden. Sure, let's just double attack. Who cares? Doesn't really matter. He might have a. Exile for tapped. He would go for the Sanguine if he did that. At least I would. That's definitely the better move. It's going to be the more aggressive style. Flying and Vigilance. I don't think this does it for you, buddy. He. The only question here is, does he have a Counterspell? Does he have the Counterspell? I don't know. He might have the Counterspell. Obviously, he, he can see that we have it, so we need to go for it. My guess is he counterspells. He doesn't counterspell. Oh, man, that's not good for him. Whew, that's bad. Maybe he's got a wrath. He might have a wrath. It seems 
unlikely. It seems unlikely, but it's possible. Yeah, it doesn't matter. You're sewed up. There we go. Quick three victories. I have to give credit where credit is due. What oh, does this get us the diamond? Yes, it does. Oh, platinum, never mind. I forget the tears. That gets us the platinum, okay. No problems there. Gets us our gold. I'm happy with that. No problems at all. I'm pretty happy with that. Did anyone else play this midweek? I liked this midweek. I thought it was pretty cool. Now, to be honest, I'm pretty happy with that. I think we're going to call it at that. That's a solid 25 minutes. We got three victories out of that. We got our daily 500 gold. We didn't quite finish our daily quest. This was our new one. But we did pretty well. Uh, let's think. What was our win ratio out of that? I think that was his... What? We went three for five, if I'm not mistaken. That's pretty good. That's not bad. That's 60% win rate. That's above average for decks. And to be honest, it took us 25 minutes. No problems at all. That's why I like playing aggro decks. I like playing the aggro decks because it allows you to play quickly. It allows you to farm the victories. It allows you to get what you want out of the game. And also, they tend to be actually fun to play. They tend to actually be fun to play. I really am a fan of them. Ah, uh, we had cool styles I wasn't using. I will have to give credit where credit is due. This was uh, Covert Go Blues Boros Convoke deck. Before he cucked out and said Boros Convoke is not the best. Uh, I have to be honest, I'm a biggest fan of this. I'm a big fan of this. I think this is, I think this is definitely the deck to be playing this go round. Now that being said, this go round is over in how many days? 12 days. Obviously, I'm just doing this for cards at this point, but yeah, I mean, we're pretty much, we're pretty much toast. I'm pretty happy with this. All right. If you enjoyed this, please leave a comment letting me know whether or not I should keep doing this. If not, we'll go back to some other slightly more standard ASMR stuff tomorrow. The only reason I was doing this today was because I just don't have the time to set up and edit a more conventional ASMR video. And to be honest, I do like playing games. I've been doing this anyway. So, this is enjoyable for me. I like it. I hope you like it. Good luck in all of your endeavors.